Hiya! So today's video I'm going to be showing you some of the books I got in December. Um, some I bought for myself, some I got as Christmas presents. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I might show you, show you a few of the other gifts I received for Christmas. Um, not everything because I've put things away but um, yeah, maybe just a few of the other things. And yeah, I thought I would yeah just show you guys what I got. Um, unfortunately I haven't been able to do as many videos as I wanted to do this December. Um, my SD card for my camera broke and um, so I haven't been able to use it and I've just bought a new one or my husband bought me a new one um, and that arrived today and unfortunately the lighting is going to be bad because natural lighting is, is what I usually use has now gone so I'm just going to have to put up with what I have at the moment. <laughs> um, I've been waiting to do a video for quite a few days now and yeah I just wanted to, it's, Christmas, it's New Year's Eve and I wanted to get it done officially before January. Um, so yeah the first two books I picked up I'll show you, I got these from HomeSense. HomeSense have a really nice like classics selection over the festive period. Um, and yeah, they had a few of these paper mill press books. And if you saw my last haul video, which I think is actually my last video, um, I had two of these books and then I picked up two more. So I picked up The Time Machine, um, never read it, always wanted to. It's a nice little kind of novella sized book. Um, again, it's by the uh, paper mill, published by paper mill press. It's a really nice like papery card feeling cover. Um, with some foiling like copper foiling and um, it's by hg wells like i said it's a classic and i've always wanted to read this i watched the film when i was younger and really enjoyed it i haven't seen the film in a really long time actually i might try and track that down but yeah i've always been intrigued by the story i enjoyed the film so i thought i would give the book a go and i'm pretty sure there is an audiobook free on youtube um, so I might like listen to that and read this at the same time, so like read along with the narrator. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's good. I'm really interested in this one. And then I also picked up, um, again, another book by Paper Mill Press, and it's The Railway Children by Edith Nesbitt. Um, again, this is a film I watched in my childhood. Um, and I really enjoyed it, but I've never read the book, so I picked it up because I was intrigued. Um, I'm kind of trying to read classics I liked the films of as a child because my reading level as a child wasn't great. Um, I have dyslexia, so it took me a long time to really get into reading, but I've always loved stories and I've always been a big film, like movie watcher. And yeah, I always liked the classics, so I'd like watch the films instead of reading the books, but um, now reading is one of my favourite hobbies. I've decided to start picking up books of the films I used to like. So I loved um, like The Secret Garden and I have read that and really enjoy it. And Black Beauty was another film that I loved when I was a kid and I have read the book Black Beauty. Although I don't own a copy, I read it on like a e-reader. So maybe I'll have to look out for maybe a copy of Black Beauty if they do it in the uh, paper mill press because I really like these covers. Um, they're probably one of my favourite classics collections. I have a few different copies, like I have some leather bound ones, I have the penguin cloth bound ones, and yeah, I have a few like different variations of classics, but I'm really into these these um, ones at the moment. But yeah, The Railway Children, it's a story I loved as a kid and thought I would give it a go. Um, so yeah, I didn't say much about the stories. I feel like these are like pretty self-explanatory, like the time machine. Obviously a guy builds a time machine, it goes back to the past and or does he go ahead to the future i can't remember and there's like these creatures and stuff it's kind of like a horror from what i remember well, the film was anyway i don't know about the book i'll have to read that and then this is like a like a fiction family drama kind of a thing um i think everyone in the world is friends if you can only get them to see you don't want to be unfriends um but yeah i thought we'd give this a go and I really liked the cover. The next two books I picked up, and they were actually from a charity shop. Um, if you see on my Instagram, I had a picture of the packaging of these. They were mystery books. So they had these little tags. I can see one here actually on my desk. 
they had they were wrapped up in wrapping paper like christmas wrapping paper and then they had these little tags and it said like this one was supernatural romance urban fantasy werewolves so they had little hints as to what the book would be and i picked up two of them and i unwrapped them on christmas eve just before christmas as a little treat to myself they were like one pound fifty each i believe and these were the two books that i got now unfortunately i already own this book <laughs> i have this book in hardback and it's the Stephen King's The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. It's a um, like short story horror collection by him. And I do really like it. Um, it is a good book. It's one of the Stephen King books I really like. Um, I've read a few. I haven't completed reading all of the stories. But I've read quite a few out of this book. And now I have another copy. <laughs> Although to be fair I feel like being a paperback. This might be a little bit more easy for me to pick up and read so I might keep it and read a few more of the stories in the paperback version and then I'm gonna have to unhaul one of them because I don't need two of the exact same book like they're, they're the exact same cover and everything um so yeah I'll either re-donate this and keep my hardback or maybe donate the hardback depending on whichever one I finish the stories in so yeah it was a good book though like if you don't already have this one I would have been really chuffed to get this if I didn't already have it so that was a good pick um, and then the next one is one that I haven't heard of. This was the werewolf novel. And it's called Moon Called. Um, Treachery is a Fool's Game by Patricia Briggs. Haven't heard of this. It's actually a series from the looks in the back. But hopefully this will be either the first one or standalone. Or you, you, like, you could read them as a standalone. Um, but it says it's like an urban fantasy series. And... I believe you're following two sisters who are shapeshifters and they are um like shapeshifter coyotes and then they're trying to join like this wolf pack but obviously they're low down in the rankings because they're not actually werewolves they're coyotes and yeah it was i think described as like a supernatural romance so i'm guessing there's going to be a romance between one of the sisters and one of the wolf pack members um so yeah i'm definitely going to give it a go um yeah it says hardly a normal situation but then marcy thompson is not exactly a normal young lady um and her connection to the world of things that go bump in the night is about to get her into a world of trouble so yes bit of a fantasy romance i'm interested in that one um i then got um a couple books for myself again from charity shop I think it was a separate shop from when I bought the wrapped ones. But this one, I was so pleased to see this. I never ever find point horror books in charity shops. It's really, well I can't say never ever because I've just found one. But it's really, really rare. Um, I normally have, I, well normally I always buy them from online, from World of Books. Um, and yeah, I found Nightmare Hall. And this is a series I collect. I collect all point horror books. But the Nightmare Hall series in the point horror book um collection is one that i really enjoy and it's by diane ho who's one of my favorite um one of my favorite point horror writers and yes yeah, nightmare hall deadly attraction as soon as i saw this i like grabbed it up and i was like oh my god i can't believe i actually found one out in the wild <laughs> out in my town which never happens um if you've seen like a few of my previous videos you'll know i like i said i collect point horror and i love these books um so yeah i was super chuffed to find this one it's set around a university in salem and it's set in nightmare hall which is the um, name of the series and yeah it's just like teenage girls getting up to antics so yeah i was super super happy to find that i then picked up a book by graham masterton his horror author like extreme horror author that i really enjoy and this has been in there a little while and I've been like putting it down, picking it up, and putting it down, picking it up. But I was like, no, I'm just going to go for it. And it's called Night Wars. And I believe it's like some kind of like nightmarish horror. Like I said, I really like his books. His books are really bizarre. Um, but yeah, it says they are five ordinary people forced to do battle. I think that's why I wasn't so sure about picking this one up. It's like a, a battle, like when you dream and you go into that they go into this other world. Um... On the most terrifying field imaginable the landscape of nightmares and they are night warriors and only they can defeat the evil that has invaded our world through our dreams um 
yeah only they would dare to try so i think the reason why i was hesitant to pick this one up was because i wasn't sure if it was in a series um it says two of the cruelest and most horrific apparitions ever seen are attempting to destroy our world by entering the dreams of unexpected mothers uh, they bring with them armies of undead nightmarish creatures horror horrible beings and that could only spring from someone's worst fear so i guess then they have to battle them so i was like do you know what that does actually sound pretty good so i'm gonna pick it up and give it a go like i said i know i like his writing already and his stories are always quite bizarre so yeah why not i then picked up this one it's by orion um it's the silver metal lover oh no sorry it's published by orion it's silver metal lover by tanith lee and this just looked really bizarre um <laughs> i really liked the cover i was like what the hell is this about and then you read the back of it and i was like that just sounds really weird i'm gonna have to pick this up um it's basically a story about a young lady and oh it even has like illustrations on the inside i love old books i think their covers are way cooler than what we have now oh where was the blurb it's in the front here yes yeah, in the front here so it says reared to be the perfect child um permanent arrested development jane lives a sheltered life a house in the clouds until one day she falls in love with silver charming witty uncommonly handsome an artist and a brilliant musician who turns out to be a robot <laughs> so i just thought that sounded really weird like this girl who lives a sheltered life happens upon this robot who she falls in love with i was like yeah i'm gonna have to get that um that just sounds like it's gonna be a really fun read <laughs> really bizarre so yeah i picked that up and then i picked up a stephen king because i feel like i've been on a bit of a stephen king kick recently since i got one of his books in an abominable book club um my last one i got tommy knockers which i've never read before i was like Do you know what i actually should start picking up some of the older Stephen King books I've heard a lot about because I've read a few of his newer stuff um but I rarely read like kind of what I would consider to be like classic Stephen King books like books that are quite well known and um, that came out a while ago um yeah I just want to start reading some of them um because I know a lot of his titles but I don't know a lot about the actual books themselves so I picked up Salem's Lot and I loved this cover again I love the old-fashioned covers um, Stephen King, Salem's Lot, Enough Blood, Demons and Terror to give, um, to give doubt to most, sorry, to give the most doubting readers the shivers. So yeah, it just looks like a vampire novel. So I was like, Do you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I've heard like a little bit about this book, but not much. Um, so yeah, I think it's about, um, vampires but we will see i don't want to know too i like to go into stephen king's books without knowing too much about them um so yeah i picked that one up and hopefully i will like it and then two more books and then i'll show a couple of the other things i got for christmas and um, these are both gifts from my husband i have been seeing willow winters she keeps popping up all over my shorts i don't have tiktok anymore i deleted it but when I'm like scrolling through shorts on YouTube, she keeps popping up like her book packing videos where she's packing orders um, for readers. And I was like, do you know what? I do like um, like smutty <laughs> kind of books every now and then. And I kind of stick to the same authors like Cheryl and Keon who writes um, fantasy porn basically and um, i really really like her books she's been one of my favorites for a long time so i always gravitate towards her but i want to try and find some different like smutty romance authors and i was like do you know what i'll give this one a go she's written a ton of books so i basically just said to my husband go on amazon and pick two books from this author so again i don't know much about them he got me the discreet covers you can get different variants of her covers you can get like artist covers the covers obviously with the sexy men on the front um or like the discreet series and this is her discreet series 
and it just has like the name of the characters on the front and then inside is the actual name of the book. So I got Killian and Cat, and I've actually started reading this one already. I'm on page 41 and the actual name of the books is, where's the name of the books? So it's Sexy and, Sexy and Sin. So that's the name of this book. And this one centers around obviously Killian and Cat and they were in a very young romance um, but they were in like a motorcycle gang and at the very beginning of the book so this isn't really a spoiler but the motorcycle gang gets like raided and he gets taken away to prison and obviously they spent a really long time apart like when they were younger they planned on getting married and they were like super into each other but obviously a lot of time has passed now I think it's four years later um a lot of time has passed and he's just come out of prison and we will see what unfolds because obviously they're now adults and they were kind of like very very young when he got put away so yeah we will see what unfolds in that story so he got me a motorcycle gang <laughs> fantasy book and then we have geo and grace and this is actually by willow Wint willow winters and bb harlem and yes so the other one was just by willow winters i believe and this one says on the back here discreet series the actual, so the actual name of this book is Forsaken and this is a fantasy which I might like a little bit more just because like I said when I tend to read um, smutty books I normally go for Sharon Keown which is fantasy um, she has this whole Dark Hunter series which I absolutely love I think I've reviewed their books on this channel a long time ago um, but yeah anyway this one is um it says i should have known that one day i'd be at the mercy of a monster and um all i am is the daughter of his enemy so i feel like this is like a girl who gets sold off to a marriage like a like an arranged marriage between different kingdoms um she said i was stolen i was gifted to him a dominating brutal and cold-hearted killer my pleas fall on deaf ears and i uh, stay trapped and held hostage to his will <laughs> So yeah, he got me a motorcycle gang story and a kidnapping fantasy story. So yeah, I'll let you know. I'll review these once I finish them. Um, but I am enjoying the writing so far in the uh, first one I showed. So those are all the bo books I picked up in December. I got some smutty fantasy. I got some strange sounding fantasy. Um, I got a couple of horrors. Um, I'm so pleased I found a point horror. That like just made my week when I found that and then a couple of classics so quite a mix um that is kind of my reading style it's all over the place so yeah I've got a lot of good reading to catch up on I also have a lot of reviews to film because like I said I'm behind on my filming because I lost my SD card for a week well it broke um and I had to get a new one so yeah I'm a little bit behind but yeah, I'll show you a couple of other things. Other things I got from Christmas, like my parents got me a really nice robe and some makeup sets, um, which I really enjoyed. I don't really specifically ask for much during Christmas. I like traditional, like, presents, like fluffy socks and skincare and books, like, just little simple things. We don't tend to go too big at Christmas, like, with major gifts. Um, I like to just get, like, stocking stuffers and little bits here and there. Um, my husband got me some new boots which I absolutely love and I really did need um, so that was awesome um, he got me uh, one of my favourite well, this is my main thing that I got um, from my husband and it was Hogwarts Legacy finally came out on the Switch I've been waiting and waiting for this to come out on the Switch I debated buying it on the because um, we've got PS5 but my husband's always on it so I would never we only have one so I would never get to play it um, so yeah he got me on my switch and i love my switch and i've started playing it and so far i'm really loving it i don't know if anyone would be interested in game reviews because i do play a lot of different games on my switch and um, i do have a few horror games he also got me for my birthday and um, the goosebumps game and the pineview drive game which are two horror games that are quite popular and i'm enjoying both of those so i don't know if anyone wants me to start doing a couple of game reviews on this channel but yeah Hogwarts Legacy really really enjoying so far I've only like just started um 
but yeah then he got me a few like little gifty items he got me some socks like i said i like smellies so he got me a lovely selection of bath bombs i like a bit of bath bombs every year he got me this um he got me some bath bombs from this company last year it's not the same set but it's the same company and they're really really lovely bath bombs they have very strong scents and yeah you get all different kinds of scents we have cherry blossom strawberry lavender rose uh mint ocean um jasmine chamomile uh, lemon almond so yeah loads of different bath bombs which i love and then he also got me um this set so it's like another wellness set he got me loads because he got me big um nivea set you know there's like christmas nivea gift boxes he got me a really big one in there with like um deodorant uh, night cream day cream shower stuff uh, moisturizer like a really big one of them but that's all over the place because i've already opened up and are using that one but i thought i would show you this one i think he got it from amazon and i don't know the company um but yeah it came like in this really nice box here and i just thought it was so lovely it says especially for you and it's a flower with a pressed um like a card with a pressed flower and i'm pretty sure the flowers are forget me nots and i just really really liked that i was like oh my gosh that's so sweet and it comes with a drinking flask which has the saying sometimes you forget um you're awesome so this is a reminder and i really like that it's a nice big drinking flask so i can have a drink whilst i'm reading my books it came with a little aromatherapy candle in this sweet little box. Sorry, sorry again for the lighting, I know it's not great. Um, does it say the scent? It just says scented candle. And yeah, it's really sweet. Oh, it's English pear and freesia. Oh, I did, I have already opened it, this. Oh, I don't want to wreck the box. It's not gonna let me open it. There we go. Yeah, it's just a sweet little candle so I can have a little bath with a little scented candle and my book. My son's playing in the lounge, if you can hear him. I just bought him, we did a little Tesco run and I got him a new uh, marble run, which he loves. But yeah, I got some um, bath salts, which just says 100% love. So yeah, I like smelly things and like he got me a whole pack of socks, like fluffy socks. And I got a little star bath bomb and this lovely diamond soap which has like little um gold flecks in i have a thing for soap i collect soap i don't know why um is that gonna focus oh, i keep trying to focus on my face go on focus on the soap yeah i don't know if you can see the little gold flecks in there but yeah just some really nice stuff um i had a really good christmas this year let me know what what did you get for christmas what was your favorite gift this year oh he also got me these earrings which are um gem gem pyres i think that's how you say that again my fo my camera just really doesn't want to focus like i'm trying to peek over the top because i can't see if it's focused unless i look then it's going to try and focus on my face um but yeah he got me these earrings and they're so nice it's from natural treasures and it's made from uh it says it is a where is it blah, blah, blah. What did it say what it is natural it says natural raw pink opals and opals are my thing they're my birthstone it's what he got me for my engagement ring um i love opals so he normally gets me like opal jewelry um which i love he's got me like i've got like two opal necklaces from him and some opal earrings but these ones are so unusual because they're gold which is my uh, my preferred metal, but it's gold. And yeah, they're so unusual, these like raw opals. I've never, sorry, my camera timed out. It's really annoying. After like, I've been filming, I think for like 30 minutes or so, it cuts out. But anyway, they are, as I was saying, they are raw opals and the lighting's horrible, like I said, so it's not gonna do them justice, but they just look really cool. They're like really rough cut, opals and yeah i've just never seen them before i really like the design um 
yeah, I just thought they were really unusual. I've not seen anything like that before. So, yeah, I've got some pretty good stuff this year. And like I said, I've got a bunch of different socks. A bunch of different socks. And, oh, I did also get me this last thing. Um, a perfume, and it's a... Um, Calvin Klein perfume and it's just the Calvin Klein hair it smells really nice I haven't seen this one before but yeah this is the bottle and it smells like I couldn't like really think of the scent but it was like a vanilla -y scent and he said he went for it because it said it was vanilla -y. but it has like a fruitiness to it and the best way I can describe it is like vanilla slash passion fruit with maybe lemon it's a really really unusual scent i really really like it it might actually be one of the favorite perfumes he's ever bought for me um because i normally go floral but yeah i really really like this it's like vanilla -y and sweet fruit it's like really really nice but yeah, that's everything that I got this year for Christmas. Well, not everything. Like I said, I had a few other things that I haven't shown. Um, but yeah, those are the books and yeah, some of the gifts that I got this year. So what did you get this year? Did you have a good Christmas? I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. And I hope everyone has a great New Year. Like I said, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. So I don't know if I'm going to get it up on New Year's Eve. Or it will probably go up on New Year's Day. Um... But yeah, I hope everyone has a great beginning to the year. I'm just chilling at home with my family, with my son and my husband. Um, we're going to have a couple drinks tonight and some like snacky food. I'm going to do up some like snacky plates. And yeah, we're just going to chill and enjoy each other's company. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas and are going to have a great new year. And yeah, let me guys know what you did this Christmas. What was your favourite thing you did um, over these past few weeks? Mine was like Christmas Day, just chilling with my family. I really, I'm such a homebody. Um, I love just staying at home and relaxing with the family. And yeah, so that's all I have to say. I'm going to stop rambling. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye guys.